Hello, welcome to day 23 of Vlogmas. So this morning I've got lots of paperwork and computer work to do for the shop, but this afternoon I'm going to be working on finishing the stockings for the fireplace. So they're going to be hanged either side, I think. But first of all, I need to show you my handmade garment for today. So this is the Cashmere at Concord t-shirt, and there's so many variations in this pattern. This is the short sleeve version with the little tabs, and um, there's like, like three quarter length sleeve and with and without tabs as well, and there's three different necklines. This one is the highest neckline, and I've actually used some ribbing to do the neckline on this, which isn't always the best choice because this fabric is a sort of medium weight jersey and ribbon is quite thick material but I just loved the idea of the bright pink compared to the stripes and I've popped a little pink button on there as well. I love the shape of this t-shirt, I feel like it gives me plenty of room for my bust and goes out at the hips as well and it's just a handy pattern to have really that you can sort of adjust and change things like the sleeve length and the neckline and everything and I need to probably pop a cardigan on with it this afternoon <laughs> so let's show you what socks I've got on today Thank you so much for the card Sylvia and these stitch markers are gorgeous, thank you. Thank you so much Susan, how cute is that little progress keeper? So I'm working on my stockings again and I've decided to do the first letter of mine and Adam's name on each of these so that you can tell whose is whose. <laughs> Not that we're going to put stuff in these, but never mind. But you can see that I've used a blue heat erasable pen just about, and there's an E there. So I'm going to use free motion stitching or like a thread painting technique to stitch over that. So hopefully you'll be able to see it. So I'm going to go over it multiple times so it's quite a thick lettering rather than just a single line of stitching. Everything will be okay. holiday with you tomorrow it is christmas the first for me and you i longed for this moment to have you for myself in a cabin out of nowhere just us and no one else i've decorated everything till we perfect for this week tomorrow So I've joined the outside pieces to the lining pieces so I've got two pieces like this and I've also included a little tab there to hang it up. I'm going to put the right sides together, pin it 
and then I'm going to stitch leaving a gap at the bottom of the foot here so that I could turn it the right way. So there we are, I've turned it the right way and that's the first one finished. I better get on with the next one otherwise Adam won't be having a stocking. <laughs> I dread to think what it would be like to turn the stockings out of the pattern book inside out because even these being not very long they're a bit fiddly so the ones that are longer still would be a right pain. <laughs> I'm using some really long hemostats to get grab the toe and then they lock into place and I can pull the right side in. Like so. Just sort of spread out the foot and then I'm going to poke the hemostat back in and push all the seams so that they're nice and neat. I've just given it a quick press and I'm just going to top stitch the foot closed and the lining. Stitched closed and I'm going to poke this in inside the stocking so that we have a finished stocking. It's going to take me a few minutes to do this. It's a little bit fiddly. <laughs> it's because the neck of the stocking is quite narrow and quite long. Santa's coming to visit No, he wouldn't miss this in That's more or less in I'm going to have a bit more of a fiddle with it and give it a press Ta-da! All finished Now I need to hang him on the fireplace There we are, up in time for Christmas I feel like I do need to rethink the other decorations on the fireplace now because there's too much sort of on the sides here but I'll have a play with that later but the stockings are done which is good So I've cast on something new, but I'm not going to tell you what it is because I'm going to save it for the podcast tomorrow. So by the time this video goes up, it will be tomorrow. So later in the day, 
the podcast will be up and it's going to be a Christmas special and I'll tell you all about this project and I've also done some knitting on my new Christmas socks cast on um, that we're out of the Austrian yarn that I cast on a few days ago Adam's been knitting on his socks look <laughs> he's hardly knit any really but maybe he'll get into it a bit more now that we've sort of relaxed getting closer to Christmas do you know what we've forgotten? what? we haven't had our chocolate Ooh, advent time better open the advent do you know what date it is? it's the 23rd yep are you ready? I'm ready Ooh, it's a red lint and a Maltesers oh only two again Today. 23 on the Lego Advent. Ooh. What have we got? I think it, I don't know. Oh, it's a. Uh, Is know. it one of those weird house things again, like a parcel or something? Okay. Let's get building. It looks like Santa's delivered the presents early. What do you think this one is? I think it might be a Nimbus 2001. <laughs> or a Firebolt. That one looks a bit full. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> Galaxy. Three? Yeah. Tables are turning, Adam. Santa's gonna come and join us in this song. Hey. 